Hey y'all, this is Renee with Two Chatty Chicks and the Guest, and it has been a while since I've done a video. Uh, I know I've been telling y'all about Miss Lillian's products and how I was going to start demoing some of her uh, line, and right now I am working on, I'll turn this around so you can see. I am working on this spray. I painted it already with ruby red metallic and I wanted something to really make it look dramatic so I am using her gel stain in the tobacco and it's really easy to use if you really want that dramatic look I absolutely love her gel stains and I tend to use the tobacco more than I do any of them but she's got some great colors and all I do is use the chip brush to apply with and uh, this is one time that I usually suggest that you use a liberal amount of product because you're going to wipe it back and you're going to leave it darker in some areas. Okay, let me get around here on the other side. friend of mine that I worked with down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana by the name of Marty Carroll is the one that got me to using gel stains and then whenever I started carrying uh, Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint and she had gel stains, I was just ecstatic because I absolutely love them and uh, I have found that the students are a little afraid of it until they see how beautiful of a finish you can really get by using them and then they're hooked from then on so they have used just about every color that she has uh, let's see Sandy one of my students she used the antique white and she used the driftwood gray and it was absolutely gorgeous okay I've got a good coat on that and I really can't stress enough about the gel stains whenever you get through you always want to <clears throat> keep a I usually keep a bucket with a Walmart bag and I have water in it and that way I can throw the gauze and the brushes in the water because um, it's a gel stain and it's an oil base so it can be uh, combustible uh, in the heat so you want to make sure that you do not leave them um, just laying around piled up and as you can see, I use nothing but gauze on this process. And what I do is I unroll it and then I fold it. And I fold it to where it looks like this. I was gonna lay one out. I fold it in half and then I fold it again. So it's kind of like in four quarters. And I do that for a reason so that whenever one gets saturated, I can flip it and keep using it until it's completely all used up. And you don't realize how hard this is to do one-handed and hold the camera and make sure everybody can see. As you can see, I'm pulling it in some places more than I am others. See here how I left it in the crevices there and whenever that dries, it is absolutely going to be gorgeous. The main thing is just don't be afraid to use it. Okay, this one is a little saturated. So I'm just gonna unfold it, fold it over the other way, and then continue on. And you can see I'm kind of pushing that up there in them crevices. That way it kind of leaves more in those cracks. Oh, hey Robin, I usually don't ever see the comments. How are y'all doing? I'm going to be doing a lot more videos of using Miss Lillian's products. Uh, Robin has come and taken one of my classes. Y'all have to excuse the way I'm having to do this here, but I'm trying to do it with one hand and hold the camera with the other. And she finished a very pretty table in class. She came to one of my Bring Your Own Pieces class. And you can just keep wiping back until you get it to the depth of the look that you're going for. 
as you can see, I have splattered paint everywhere whenever I was doing this and other finishes. But that there is all you need and there's no need to even put a top coat on this. I think it's absolutely gonna be fabulous. And the molds are the IAB molds. And that's also gonna be a video that I'll show you how to pour those. But now Marilyn, uh, Miss Lillian's carries uh, bendable molds. And whenever I was with her at the booth conference, I tried some of them several times and I really did like them. So I want to get with her and get some of those to try again and to show uh, in class and maybe do a video on those. So I hope y'all have enjoyed. Oh, I was going to show y'all. I'm trying to get my glove off. Here are a couple of cabinet finishes. This is Willow Dream and then this is Tobacco Over It. It's hard to imagine the difference there is in those two looks once you put that gel stain on there. And this is Ruby Red Slipper Metallic with the uh, gel stain tobacco over it. And this one is Watermark Silk, again, with the tobacco. And then this is just Ducky. And I think it's got uh, tobacco as well. Yes, I guess you can tell I like the tobacco gel stain. So, but anyway, I just wanted to stop a little bit today and because I had promised y'all that I was going to be doing some videos on Miss Lillian's products and I've not been able to do that yet. So I'm fixing to get geared up and y'all are going to find out all about her great products. Y'all have a blessed day and I will talk to y'all later.